Welcome back. How many of you are skateboarders or maybe you were in the 90s? Well, if so, you are probably familiar with the Burnside Skate Park, which just celebrated its 31st anniversary. So come with us, take a trip back to 95 in the KGW vault. I like skateboarding because it's all, it's just all your own self-expression. If you don't know where you're gonna land, yeah, you get scared. The Burnside Skateboard Park is probably the last place you'd expect to spot corporate executives. Hey, but that's where you'll find the bigwigs of Palace Skateboards Incorporated. They're making money and having fun by wheeling and dealing. On the streets and in the boardroom. My name is Joshua. Neil. Pig. Pan. Aaron. Brian Bean. The crazy person that started this whole thing. This may be the only company in the Northwest where employees are encouraged to skate through their chores. Palace founder Brian Bean gets his kicks from woodworking and skateboarding. So when he couldn't find a board sturdy enough to ride, he began making his own in a friend's garage. Because I'm a big guy, I weigh 180 pounds, and if I get on a flimsy skateboard and I want to go fast, and the board flexes out underneath your feet, you're out of control. What began as a hobby has grown into a bustling business. Brian recruited a half dozen of his skating buds to help him out, and today, Palace is turning out a hundred boards a day. Yeah, this is the best. Wouldn't want to do anything more than make skateboards. The key to making a good skateboard, adequate pressure, the right kind of wood, the right moisture content in the wood. And don't forget the eye-popping illustrations. Sure, they get worn off after a few spills, but in skateboarding, style is where it's at. Started working with this new uh, four-color process soak screen. It allows us to print a photographic image. What I like about the boards, they're the best. They're just the strongest. They last the longest. And we make them so it makes you like them even more. But what the dudes at Palace really dig is their super cool proving ground, just a couple blocks away under the Burnside Bridge. Three, two, one. What the Columbia Gorge is to windsurfing, the Burnside Skateboard Park is to skating, a challenging internationally known venue that demands the best from riders and their equipment. Man, if a skateboard can stand up to this place, it can handle just about anything. You've got everything that you could possibly want to ride in one spot. From the curbs right here out in front to the big vertical wall over here. No way check it our new ad. Thanks to word of mouth and national ads and skateboarding mags like Thrasher, Palace's reputation is growing faster than bad vibes at a Courtney Love concert. When we checked out the company's headquarters, Brian was cutting a deal with a major sports company. Adidas. They wanted, there's a trade show in San Diego in September and they want to take our boards down there and put them in their booth. Might be good for us. So Palace Skateboards is definitely on a roll. And for Brian Bean, the only thing better than making a sale is sailing through the air. Why do I like skateboarding? It's free. There's no rules, you know. You step on a skateboard, there's you're just with yourself and your skateboard, and it's kind of a meditation type thing. That looks fun. By the way, we've been trying to find out what happened to that company. If you know, drop us a line, will you?